Welcome back. We are gonna make paleo pancakes. In this bowl, I have cassava flour. Cassava flour is, they're not all made the same, so I do have my favorite right below this video. It is a starch-based flour, so what that means is that if you want fluffy, gluten-free pancakes made with cassava flour, you want a higher quality flour so that they're not gummy or too wet. So our baking powder is the next thing that I'm gonna add into our flour. It will give that fluff and that rice that we all love about pancakes. And then just a pinch of salt. Just mix these guys up. Up next is some milk. You can make this recipe dairy-free by using your favorite dairy-free milk alternative. That will work too. Two eggs. and some melted butter. The melted butter is optional, so if you are trying to keep these pancakes dairy-free, you could use coconut oil or omit it completely, or whisk. So the thing about pancake batter is you don't wanna overmix it. So you don't wanna start with big circles, you wanna start in your middle to mostly break up the eggs and get those whisked up. And after that, you're going to incorporate the rest of the flour into the batter by going in big circles. I have a ton of pancake recipes on this channel, so if you are a pancake fanatic, make sure to check out the playlist that I will link right below this video. The measurements, of course, are always located in the link right below the video. Something really important with this batter is to let it sit for about five minutes so the cassava flour can absorb the liquid ingredients a little bit before we get started on our pan. All right guys, it's been five minutes, and as you can see, our pancake batter has absorbed a lot of the liquid. So that's when you know you are ready to make your pancakes. All right, so I have a pan here that I'm going to turn on, medium heat, and I'm gonna add some butter to my pan. Maybe you're using spray or uh, a vegetable derived to keep this recipe dairy free. But I also have an entire video on this channel that shows you when is it time to flip your pancakes so that they're perfectly fluffy, they're not burnt on one side, all those details are right below. Okay, so we just want to pour our batter on our pan. About a fourth of a cup or a little less if you want smaller pancakes. One of the reasons I love using a griddle and you guys have seen me use a griddle in a lot of recipes on this channel is because the heat distributes evenly on the entire pan. Right here I have a gas stove, so the heat is really only right below the middle, and that can also cause your pancakes to cook more on one side or be darker or towards the middle and not on the edges. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Check out how they're bubbling up and lifting. They already have a tremendous texture. Let's flip these. They are so ready. Oh, fluffy, perfect. I mean, they're so pretty and so good. You guys, I'm so excited because these pancakes, they really just fluffed up, they have the perfect texture. And one of the toughest things about paleo recipes or gluten-free recipes for pancakes is that you often don't know what they're gonna turn out like. And if you have a nut allergy, we're not using almond flour. Cassava flour is gluten-free, nut-free, it's a root, so it's a starch. You definitely wanna use a good one. I'm gonna take these off the griddle and pile them up. Now, I'm gonna give you a good trick so the rest, your first batch is always pretty, but the rest you're like, oh, they're always so brown. That's because your butter or oil has already kind of turned brown and that is gonna interfere with your batter. So a quick trick is to take a paper towel and wipe it down. I've turned off my fire and I'm gonna take a paper towel and just absorb some of that burnt grease like that, so that obviously is not gonna make your pancakes look really great. Now, if you put butter or oil and it's immediately turning brown, that's because your pan is too hot. You could also pause your batch and let it cool down a little bit before you pour your, the rest of your batter. I love this pancake recipe for our family kickstart program, which you can find out more below. It helps you eliminate processed foods and sugars from your family's diet. And this recipe is a winner with everyone in the family. Epic, you guys, check them out. So perfectly, they 
stacked braid, they are a hit. And yes, they can be frozen, and yes, they can be thawed out and heated up. You can make a huge batch. Mm -mm. Let's try these out. All right, guys, check these out. Let's give them a try. That texture. Mm. I debated whether to show these to you first or take a taste. I decided to try them. Now it's your turn. Perfectly fluffy. They have crispy edges cooked through. For this pancake recipe, I mean, it's paleo. It's made with cassava flour. It's everything we love about classic pancakes. You don't miss a thing. No funny textures. Make sure to grab the recipe and subscribe to the channel so you and I get to make delicious meals like this one every single week. See you next time.